Look, look, I don't want to trigger anyone, but baby, it's cold outside. Baby, it's cold outside. I'm really triggered. We are transitioning to the winter solstice, and our fashion choices are getting heavier. And today, you and I are going to talk about the winter overcoat. Once pigeonholed into formal attire only, the overcoat has become far more versatile than previously thought. Guys, this is the Gray Fox Manum, and I'm Carl. In my last video, I talked about fashion trends for 2024, and this week's subject fits that perfectly. Let's talk about trends for winter of 2024. Winter fashion is all about staying warm without compromising on style. This season, we're seeing a resurgence of classic styles with some modern twists. Think timeless silhouettes with contemporary fabrics and details. Now, pea coats and top coats and trench coats, they're all making a strong comeback this year, offering versatility for various occasions. You know, besides that, the, the oversized tailoring look is really big this year as well. Now let's break down some must-have styles. The classic peacoat with its double-breasted design is perfect for a polished look. This is mostly used with a more casual outfit though. A tailored top coat adds a clear measure of sophistication to any outfit, while a well-fitted trench coat provides both style and functionality when the weather turns wet. The key really is finding the right balance between fashion and function. For our purposes here today, though, we're going to focus on the overcoat. Let's talk about fabrics and insulation. For the colder months, opt for a high-quality material that provides both warmth and durability. Wool blends and cashmere are excellent choices for their insulation properties and their luxurious feel that they've got. If you're in a region with harsh winters, now you could consider coats with added insulation like thin silate or down filling. But the vast majority of the time, in the majority of regions, a nice thick wool coat will serve just fine. Pay attention to a coat's lining as well. A quilted or padded lining can add an extra layer of warmth without compromising the coat's style. Now let's talk about colors. While classic neutrals like black, navy, and charcoal are timeless choices, don't be afraid to experiment with a bit of color this winter. Deep burgundy or forest green and rich camel tones are so on trend right now and can add a pop of personality into your winter wardrobe. Now I personally own a charcoal with a herringbone pattern, a black one, and a camel one. These have all worked perfectly for me regardless of dress code or level of formality used. Regardless of formality though, your coat oftentimes is a statement piece and as such is a simple way to achieve that old money or stealth wealth look. So choose a color that resonates with your personal style. It's all about expressing yourself while staying true to the season's vibes. No winter ensemble is complete without the right accessories. Scarves and gloves and hats not only keep you warm, but also add an extra layer of style. Choose contemporary colors, patterns, and textures to enhance your overall look. Accessorizing is the secret weapon to elevate your winter style game. It's the little details that make a big difference. So let's delve into the specifics of fit, starting with the shoulders. The right shoulder fit is crucial for a polished look. Aim for a coat that sits well on your shoulders without any sagging or pulling. Whether you prefer a more structured shoulder for a more formal appearance or a softer, natural shoulder for a relaxed vibe, make sure the fit enhances your silhouette. It's the foundation of a well-fitted winter coat. As I've mentioned before, I prefer my overcoats to fit over my suits, so I size up. I wear a 40 regular suit jacket, so I order a 42 regular overcoat. While this fits well over my suit jacket, the winter overcoat has recently expanded its use to include casual attire too. Of course, you want to do it right and avoid looking like Silent Bob. I found that when my overcoat is a little oversized and worn over, say, a light sweater, for example, it creates a 
perfectly in style casual look. Now in last week's video, you and I talked about how the oversized look is really in vogue for 2024. This is a great way of threading that needle between dressing to your strengths as a mature man and still being on trend. Now let's talk about sleeves. The ideal sleeve length is crucial for a refined appearance. You wanna aim for sleeves that reach just the base of your thumb when your arms are relaxed and at your sides. This ensures proper coverage and allows room for layering without looking too bulky. Avoid sleeves that are too short or too long. They can throw off the entire balance of your outfit. Let's focus on the body of the coat. Whether you prefer a slim or relaxed fit, make sure there's enough room to layer comfortably without sacrificing style. A well-fitted coat should follow the natural lines of your body without being too tight or too loose. Pay attention to the torso length as well to ensure a balanced and proportional appearance. The lapel is a subtle yet significant detail that adds character to your coat. This winter, classic lapels like the notch and the peak are making a comeback. Vintage double-breasted jackets are going to be huge. The size of the lapel should complement your body proportions and the overall style of the coat. Whether you're going for a timeless notched lapel or a more daring peak lapel, choose one that aligns with your personal style and the occasion. I would advise against a lapel that is too thin. This throws off the proportions of your shoulders and that reduces that masculine look. By the way, you may have heard me say this in a previous video. By the way, please, please, for the love of all that is holy, please do not ever pop your collar like this. Allow me to clarify that statement. On the underside of many lapels, you will find the exposed canvas of the jacket. That shouldn't be shown. If your jacket has a full lapel, like this one here, then it was designed specifically to be used to keep the elements off of your neck. So then by all means, pop that collar. The length of your winter coat is another crucial aspect to consider. While personal preference does play a role, at a minimum, you need a length that covers your suit jacket. This provides a more polished and a more cohesive look. Overcoats come in various lengths from knee length to mid thigh. So choose one that suits your style and the formality of the occasion. Generally speaking, the greater the length of the coat, the higher the formality. Finding the right length is like tailoring for your personality. It's about finding that sweet spot that complements your overall aesthetic. When in doubt, go for the greater length, aiming for near the knee. Let's look at a couple of examples. The overcoat over business attire. Here we have this gentleman who is clearly hightailing it to work. He's wearing a double-breasted gray wool suit with blue dress shirt, burgundy white spotted tie, and some brown double monk straps. Over this, he's wearing an absolutely gorgeous double-breasted camel cashmere overcoat. This would look good open like it is, or closed. He's got the freedom to vent. If it isn't too cold, look at where the shoulder seam is. That's perfect. It's leaving just enough room for the suit jacket beneath it without looking like it's too big and draping off his body. The wide notched lapel has a very masculine look to it. Love that. Look where the sleeve length is. It's hitting right at the base of his thumb. And the length, the bottom hem is hitting right around the knee. This is a perfect outfit. The overcoat over casual attire. Here we have this gentleman wearing a dark sweater layered over a white dress shirt. Downstairs, he's wearing some cream chinos and his footwear are a pair of brown suede penny loafers. Over all this, he's wearing a beautiful single-breasted charcoal herringbone patterned overcoat. Interestingly, the shoulder isn't a traditional one, but rather a raglan sleeve. That means that the, the seam is angled toward the neckline. This is considered more casual, but he could have gotten away with wearing a more traditional style of overcoat with this outfit too. You can tell this coat is a bit oversized, which would leave room for a suit underneath. But the oversized look is really in vogue in 2024 and looks perfect over this casual outfit. It's hard to tell if the sleeve length is appropriate, but I would assume so. And the length, the bottom hem is hitting right around the knee, which is perfect. 
And there you have it, gentlemen, a comprehensive guide to the best winter overcoats for winter of 2024. From shoulders to length, remember to pay attention to the details. I, I hope you found these tips helpful in curating your winter wardrobe. If you enjoyed this video at all, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and share your thoughts in the comments below. Uh, click here to see that video on Fashion Trends 2024 that we talked about. Uh, so much good stuff there. Click here to see a video addressing the three different subgenres of what we collectively call old money. Interesting. I'll see you in the next one.